If you have an amputation, you need a prosthetic limb in order to be able to walk or uh, to do everything that you need to do with your limbs. So to wear a prosthesis, uh, you need an interface uh, between the prosthesis uh, and your residual limb. So that's the reason why you need a socket, uh, something that is personalized uh, for the shape of the limb uh, that is missing uh, for the residual limb. And uh, it has to be designed quickly so that uh, you are able to come back to a normal life uh, as soon as possible. My name is Alex Lewis and I became a quadruple amputee back in 2013 due to a rare case of invasive group A strep. A socket fit when I was um, first in Roehampton in 2014, it took between sort of four and five weeks to get it right. And obviously for an amputee, you want to you wanna be wearing the prosthetic, you want to be beginning to understand how it's going to help your life to regain your independence. So it took a long, long time and it was lots of iterations of sanding down the socket internally lots of different test sockets, and then lots of tweaks to the final socket. So it was a long and labor process, I thought. When we scan an individual like uh, Alex uh, using a 3D scanner, uh, we collect uh, a lot of pictures, uh, and then the software is able to put all these pictures together uh, in order to create uh, a 3D shape of uh, the residual limb that can be visualized on the screen and then can be used to replicate uh, the shape and create a socket uh, for uh, the amputee. For the clinician, uh, this is really beneficial uh, because uh, the um, output uh, of the 3D scanner uh, will give them uh, a real and accurate representation of the 3D shape and volume uh, of uh, the residual limb of, uh, of the patients. When I met Alex, I was just starting to get into research in the area of prosthetics, and it was really great to speak to a user to find out what the actual needs are, and we can develop some technology that will really address these needs. The aim of this project is to replicate what these expensive and very precise scanners can do within a clinical environment and take this into the person's home. So we're using a mobile phone or a camera that they already have and develop some technology around this. So whether it's some software or whether we have to adapt the mobile phone, so adding a sort of accessory onto it in order to be able to capture this data. The impact would be enormous. It would cut down on the amount of travel they have to do it will really help with the, the time frame as well as the effect it has on the person. So we're really excited about the potential both in the UK as well as further fields, so for example in developing countries where they don't have access to this technology currently. My hope with the researchers in the grant is that we can cut that time period down. I don't see why it takes so long in that traditional system and I think we need to adapt and understand new and more modern techniques to give the patient a much better outcome really.